hello everyone welcome back to the new video of my channel today in this video i will tell you how you can make a loading effect in react.js loading effect is something which is appear when your required query is being searched you might have seen this ui when you are searching on youtube or when your internet is slow so this ui is known as shimmer ui and we will see in this video how you can make this shimmer ui using react.js so if you are ready let's get started so to explain you how you can make a shimmer ui i have opened a project which i have made recently first i explain you the basic working of this website then we will add a shimmer ui where it is required so this is a basic weather website which receives the location from a user and return the data of that location this data includes the max temperature the current temperature of that place and the temperature for the next seven days if we take a look at the code we are fetching the data from this api and sending the location in the api and then get the data after getting the data we have two state variables with the name live and set live and we have a data in the form of array in the api so we have set the array initially null and when we get the data we set the state variable to that particular data now this is all happening in the function which is named as handle search so we have a button here with the name search when a user click on it so on click of this button we will run the function handle search and in the handle search function we have api which gives us the data about that location so now it's time to add a shimmer ui to find the place for shimmer ui we have to look at our state variables the state variables that are storing your data like in my case live and set live are storing the data initially constant live is empty array and when we get data from the api it stores that data into live constant so i can add the logic that while my live is empty show the shimmer ui and when it has some data then don't show shimmer ui if you don't understand it let me repeat it again i have a state variables live and set live initially live as an empty array okay we have the data in the back end which is in the form of array so we are here storing the data in the form of array and initially it has null so in the handle search we are calling the api and storing that data into our live constant set live means store that data into our live state variable so we can add the logic that uh, while our live has a length of zero it means it has no data then show shimmer ui and when it has some data means it has length greater than zero then don't show shimmer ui okay this is the logic so hope you understand it now i write this logic where i am sending the props to the another component which is display and from display component i am rendering the data on the ui and it also has a weather card component which shows cards on ui so i have to add the logic there display live is equal to live i have to add logic here so to write the javascript i have to enclose this in curly braces and uh, i am using here ternary operator and write here if live dot length is equal equal to zero then show shimmer component okay so create here a shimmer component and write here rafc to export this and for demo i write here h1 shimmer ui okay now add this component here that if we don't have data then show shimmer ui otherwise send the props to the display component and then it will render the data on the ui it will show the real data so now check the results here open the browser refresh the page and you can see here our shimmer ui is working okay now it is empty and when it has data then the real data will come here okay you can see here now it has data now the shimmer ui has vanished and the real data has come so now it's time to design our shimmer ui let's use chat cpt for this and ask gpt to design the shimmer ui so i prompt here that make a shimmer ui using react.js by adding tailwind classes i am already using tailwind so i 
give the command to the chat gpt uh, that you also use tailwind classes chat gpt is writing code for us and code has been completed so copy the code and paste it here select all and replace it by the new code now check the result open the browser and refresh this to see this shimmer ui you can see our shimmer ui is working now chat gpt has designed it beautifully now we can also ask the chat gpt to design in a way so we can use it for cards so write the prompt here that makes shimmer ui according to the dummy cards this will give us code for the cards okay now code is completed let's copy this code and paste it here save the file and open the browser refresh the page and you can see the new result okay while refreshing the page shimmer ui is working chat gpt gives us the code for one card and it is rendering the one card only we can make the multiple cards from it so let's create another component which contain this code and we replicate that component to show many cards okay let's do this so create a component here with the name shimmercard.js and copy the code from here and paste it in the new component now we can use this component many times to show multiple cards so in the shimmer component let's add this card replicate the component and save the file open the browser and refresh the page you can see many cards now this is looking good so in this way you can create a shimmer ui for your website shimmer ui gives the best user experience and it should be in your website if something is loading if you want the complete tutorial of the weather website that how one can make a weather website then comment down in the video i will make a tutorial for you and if you want more videos like this subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and i will see you next time